So this is the shed or where it's at right now. Oh, so it's going to be um, kind of my, uh, I apologize for the echo guys, but it's gonna be my man cave slash snake room. It's not huge, but it's big enough for what I need. Um, we're moving from California to Florida when our youngest graduates in the next five years. So this will be plenty big for me until that happens. But roof's not on obviously yet, but just figured I'd give you guys a little snapshot of what's going on with it. YouTube, what's up? So uh, this is the end of day one on the shed build. Um, some of you guys who have like construction background, it's probably no big deal to you guys, but I'm learning a lot of this stuff myself. Um, I did hire a contractor to do like the framework and stuff, but like I've been helping him cause I've kind of wanted to learn how to do it. So anyway, a few changes. Uh, yeah, there's no trampoline there. Um, actually the trampoline has gone bye-bye because my wife is starting a, well, she's taking over a preschool for someone that we know. Um, and we bought it and so that's going to be a play area for the kids but you guys see that behind me that's going to be the snake shed and it doesn't look like much i get it but uh i don't keep anything that gets too big so i can fit a lot of stuff in there um, and still give like pretty good caging and stuff like that so let's take a peek in there and see what has gone down today Walking by the side of my house here. Um, okay, so as you can see, we're stepping into the shed. Ah, I was gonna use a light, but this is actually really good. Um, so I've done the wiring like right up here and gone through the top of the ceiling. Um, goes around, so I've got actually, this will be wired for two plugs. So I'll have plugs here on the bottom half and one on the top. Um, that's the same way it is over here as well. Um, I haven't finished wiring as you guys can tell, but, um, it's going to be pretty cool. You know, it's going to have actually, there's going to be shingles and stuff up top. It's going to be, uh, it's getting insulated tomorrow. So tomorrow we're going to do all the insulation. Um, I'm going to have, uh, probably laminate tile put down just because it's easy to clean up. I thought about going with some like deck type, uh, patio grade carpet, but, I hate carpet, especially with peeping reptiles. So um, anyway, so um, if you look down here, the wiring is gonna go through this part here, gonna go down and then, sorry about the shaking of the camera, I'm doing this with my phone guys. And it's gonna be tied down to a waterproof uh, panel that's gonna be on the other side. And for all you construction gurus that are like, hey, what about setbacks? Um, I don't care about setbacks and I'm doing this uh, the way I wanna do it. So uh, that's it for right now. And um, permits didn't need to be pulled because in the city I live in, um, anything under 120 square feet, you do not have to pull permits. Um, there technically should be a permit pulled for electrical, but I didn't do it because I didn't wanna pay for it. And I felt like I could do it myself. So that's kinda of the reason there. But anyway, this is the end of day one. Hopefully you guys like it. I will keep you guys updated as uh, we go through some progress. I'll be at you guys again tomorrow. And then um, this will be like a long video of the shed build. So uh, talk to you guys here on the flip side. What's up guys, you are inside the shed. Um, I'm just finishing with the wiring. Um, got this almost done um so basically what's going down tomorrow is tomorrow i've got to uh well my contractor's coming over he's going to finish putting the interior walls in um we got to tie the exterior box into the house um and then uh then i'm going to probably start laying down the flooring so you guys can see the floor down here um but that's what I'm doing. I've got for flooring, I was going to go with like this uh, kind of like deck style carpet. 
uh, pretty, pretty sturdy stuff, but, um, instead I decided to, uh, go with linoleum or vinyl just because with snakes, as you guys know, it's, um, you know, they're going to, when you're cleaning cages and stuff, you're going to get crap on the floor. Snakes, if you're pulling them out, they may like, you know, they may, uh, express their vent on the floor, you know, whatever. So anyway, um, I decided to go with this linoleum tile. They're like one by one, uh, square foot, uh, tile pieces. Pretty cheap. Actually, I got them off of Amazon and each pack comes with 20 square feet. Um, so they're pretty good, but, uh, you know, this isn't a huge shed. Um, maybe it looks like it in the video. I mean, it's not terribly large. It's like seven by 13. So, um, Basically, we're gonna have, uh, see if I can adjust this real quick. So we're gonna have cages on the wall, or right, this is gonna actually have racks right here. And then on this wall, all the way across, we're gonna have um, like arboreal style cages for my tree boas and uh, whatever other arboreal species I have. But like the racks that are right here are going to, um, they're going to be like, so I've got some white lips. Um, my IJs will probably go in there because they'll be pretty, pretty big size. And then I've got some space to actually put some caging in. Um, why does this thing keep tilting? Uh, to put some, uh, I guess, like larger cages once they outgrow the racks. So anyway, that's kind of the plan. I uh, just wanted to give you guys an update. This is actually what happened. This is the finishing of day two. We're actually on day three. Um, day three is, well, day three for me. I didn't really do a whole lot yesterday. That was mostly the contractor that was putting on the roofing and putting an in insulation in. Um, I did like half the wiring in between day one and day two uh, that night after he left. Um, it's now Sunday morning, so I'm actually just finishing this up putting the, I'm wiring them into the receptacles. Um, actually you can't see wiring them into the receptacles. And then, um, that's pretty much it. That's all I was going to do today. And tomorrow he's coming back and he's going to, uh, finish, like I said, with this stuff. And really by Tuesday morning, it should be ready for me to put down the, the linoleum, um, which will be pretty quick. And yeah, so, um, there's going to be a couple of late nights, like Tuesday night and Wednesday night are going to be pretty late because the goal is to have all the snakes out of the house into here, uh, by Thursday morning. So we'll see how that goes. But right now that's the plan. And, uh, I'm looking forward to this weekend. I could sleep. I have not been sleeping much because I have my full-time job on top of this. And I had two kidney stones I passed last week and was in the hospital. So when it rains, it pours. That's all I could say. Um, cool. So anyway, this is what's going down. I'll see you guys on, I guess, day four for me, but day three for the uh, contractor. What's up, guys? Uh, Jeff here with Godbolt Exotics tell I'm pretty sunburnt. I've been working quite a bit, uh, but hey, the uh, the snake shed or shop or whatever you want to call it, it's pretty much done. So uh, let's go take a look. So this is the exterior. Just a little bit of debris kind of hanging out still. Um, All right, so this is it. May not seem like much to you guys, but dude, talk about some work. Holy crap. Got lights. So I don't really keep any big species of uh, snakes, as you guys pretty much already know that. Um, that's an AC unit down there. Um, it's kind of like a, cross between a window unit and a mini split. Um, but anyway, uh, this up here, this is pine. Um, looks really cool. I like it. Uh, I'm not worried about uh, 
you know, pine shavings. I know you don't want to use those for snakes, but pine up here, at, you know, on the ceiling, it's not going to really be that big of a deal. This is this uh, wood like P board stuff. Um, I pretty, I, I like it. It's kind of, you know, southern ish. It's kind of a, uh, you know, kind of reminds me of home actually. Linoleum flooring, I was gonna go with some like uh, carpet, but uh, I figured, you know, I don't really wanna use carpet because of urates and smell and everything like that. It's actually a gray color. It may look kind of brown in the in the video, but that's pretty much it. Got a window, um, got my door with a bolt lock on it so that I can lock it every night. Um, so uh, that's it.